David, a little bit of English countryside here in the heart of Sydney. What are we in? We're in a Jaguar, an E-Pace, a P250R Dynamic. That's a very short, tall car. It's got a reasonable nose with a stubby tail in the way. Very stubby. Have a look at that. But look, come around the front. I want to show you this. Part of the upgrade to the front was a redesigned grille and redesigned headlights with double J-blade daytime running lights and a fancy indicator. Not only that, there is the option of the pixelated headlights that we've demonstrated in other Jaguar videos. And it shapes the light so that oncoming traffic or pedestrians aren't dazzled. A lot of reflectors in here. You remember we talked about that yeah. last time. Yeah. A, a solid pod, but but a one that looks with a nice little pattern on it. It's got a nice little pattern. It's got a nice grill. I mean, the thing is that this is the smallest of Jaguar's SUVs, and it's the XE size car. So really, all I've done is they've kind of stuck a bike pump in it and blown it up. And this is what you've got. The 250, the P250, how much power has this got? 184 kilowatts 184. and 365 newton meters. It is a turbo, it's a two, hmm. a two litre engine, not a two cylinder, that would be a little bit beyond the, the pale. Jaguar people are having to come to grips with it's a four cylinder and that's hard enough, Alan. Yeah, and I look, I feel a little bit that way myself. A nice Jaguar straight six is what I prefer. However, this has more power than most of the old Jaguar straight sixes. Yes, so uh, uh, the first D-Type had 165 horsepower, I think. Yeah, and that was a racing car. Hmm. Nine-speed automatic gearbox and all-wheel drive. And it feels quite nice to drive, though. Well, I think you thought the gearbox is a little bit uh, shifty, and I don't mean in a good way. Nah, the take-up of it wasn't as comfortable and as smooth as I liked. I liked it, but let's have a look at the outside first. Come round the back and we'll have a look at the cargo space. Hmm. You'll notice that this has the newer generation of Jaguar and Range Rover, Land Rover lights, so they're sort of squared off rather than the little rounded bits they used to have. But the tailgate is electric. It gives you access to quite a decent size boot. And the good thing about this is that underneath we do have a physical spare, albeit a space saver. It's not insignificant. And the seats go down 40, 40, 20. Yes in this lovely burgundy colour, but we'll have a look at that inside. Actually, there's not bad room there, and my feet sit underneath. You do have that set back a long way. Yeah, the worst thing was getting in under here. Yeah. I, there's one charger and just the standard vents, nothing too there's frilly. There's no controls back there. No. A couple of map pockets. Yeah, map pockets, as you say. But here's this sort of suede roof again, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, like it very much. What's it like in the front, David? Let's have a look. There's a few things we want to point out in here, David. You've got a part digital dash. Let's just start it up and then we'll turn it off again. It's quite sizable. The amount of space in there is not the yeah. usual, just 4.2 inches. And we've got the usual stuff on the steering wheel now, the kind of multi-function backlit touch and press controls. Yeah, without too many, but yes. The, uh, it, it has a major problem, Alan. When you set the cruise control, you push it up. Well, that's a major problem for you. Yes. I, every <laughs> I other like standard thing is to push it down. The thing that we've noticed is that no matter where you look on this dash, there is no parking brake. I can't. Yeah. No, I cannot find a parking brake. But look, we do have a Jesus grip here, which I think is essential because we're going to be taking this car off-road, aren't we, David? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> no. Alan. But we do have the new generation of PIVI information systems. So this is a much, much larger screen than the very narrow one they used to have. It's about 12 inches, isn't yeah. it? And the individual uh, temperature controls. And these functions do change if you have other... Uh, you know, seat heating and seat cooling. This one doesn't, so they're just fan and so forth individually. All of the surfaces are soft and tactile. Everything is beautiful quality, absolutely beautiful quality. Well, that, that's not as that's not but, as soft. But it's not as hard sound. plastic. It's not hard plastic, and no. that's the thing. And the most important thing is that the dials of the Jaguars, and Land Rovers of uh, the recent years has gone. We've got this new system 
with a normal old T-bar type selector. Oh, this is, this is, this feels, even though it's only, what you say, 184, 184 kilowatts, this feels very nippy. 365 newton metres. Oh, that's brilliant. That really is brilliant, David. Well, that's more than enough. I, you know, to go up to over 200 is almost academic in most uh, cases. Well, look, I'm always saying that more power is always better, and I think in most cases it is. In this case, we've still got tons of torque. What did you say, 365? That's enough for most people. The steering is speed sensitive, it's electric, so it's delightfully light at low speed, beautiful on the highway. We'll see that in a minute. And it's Alan, just delightful. In the wet weather, it's also all wheel drive. Ah, now you like that. Had, did you take it to your favourite corner? <laughs> Uphill and left turn? Uphill, left turn. No, I haven't. It normally goes horribly wrong for him. Let that nice gent in, lady or whatever. I am slightly concerned that this doesn't have a um, handbrake, or it doesn't have a, a, a lever for the handbrake or parking brake. I think that's, um, you know, probably not my preferred option. This is a link, or something. Yeah. Now, pulling out onto a busy road, your complaint about this was that you thought the turbo was a bit too laggy and that when it came in, it came in with a burst. I, I just found that it wasn't easy to get a, a, a nice flow to it. There's a couple of times someone was coming to me and I thought, oh, I'll move forward a little bit. It didn't, and, and then I suddenly looked like I was playing chicken with them. Yeah. Well, look, I, I, I must admit, I, the, the thing that drives me mad more than anything else is the stop start. And at least there is a separate button for the stop start down on the console. I'm not so, the, the takeoff hasn't worried me that much. Once you the get up and going, I think it's, it's, it's good. It, it flows nicely. The ride is absolutely beautiful. And the other thing I've noticed is it's very quiet. Alan, it only has 60 profile, profile tires. Yeah. It, so they're not low profile. And so I'm, just explain to me that. what that means again, the pro for the... It's the ratio of the, the, I think it's the width versus the depth of the tire. To the hypotenuse. <laughs> so I can't remember what a hypotenuse is and now. Of course, the lower the profile, the more it looks like just a stick of licorice around the outside. But we're now on the highway. I've set my cruise control. The lane control is now on. One thing I did find was that this insists on setting itself back to the full amount away from the car in front. Alan, this is our standard too many uh, joints, in, the joints yep. in the road, yep. but it's not coming through with a boom, boom, boom like a machine no, gun. No, no, and in fact, you I would go... You can hear it, but it's very faint and it, you don't feel it. No, well, the, I would describe this experience as limousine-esque. Now, we've made a lot of the last few months of Jaguar's XJ being cancelled. Mm. And I think that's really unfortunate. Now, if you want a, a limo in a Jag, you're probably going to have to go for the F-Pace, I'd say. Mm. And, um, or, or the XF, uh, XF sedan. But the drive experience is, I would call this fast but not quick so you can certainly get it up to a decent speed it's got plenty for highway cruising absolutely plenty it's lovely around town I felt you know I had it for the, the last week and um, I thought this was really special as we casually drape over the back of the Shaguar in true Austin power style mm. I like this car a lot I do maybe not quite as much as the F-Pace no but I still think it's a bunch of fun. Looks as sexy as hell. Its looks, I think, are its strongest feature, both interior, that sort of old style, elegant look. It is, you've hit the nail on the head, David. This is an elegant car, and I can't understand why Jaguar doesn't sell more vehicles, period. But, as always, it is that time of the day when we have to 
tell you to hit like. Leave a comment. And just over there to subscribe.